figure fans, it's the one and only Apopotamus coming to you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a Funko Pop. But not just any Funko Pop. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the deluxe Amazon exclusive Avengers Assemble Iron Man. Now, I haven't done a lot of Funko Pop reviews lately because um, other companies seem to be doing better jobs at creating dynamic looking vinyl figures. But this set actually really caught my attention. Number one, because it's Iron Man. Number two, because it's the Avengers. Number three, uh, because when you come around into the back, this kind of shows it off. Now, there are other figures that are going to be coming out in this Avengers Assemble line. The first one, obviously, being Iron Man. Then you can see the other ones are shaded out, but it says Hulk, Hawkeye, Thor, Black Widow, and Captain America. And what they all do is with the base section here, they all interlock to create that look when they first assembled in the very first Avengers movie. You know the scene that I'm talking about. <laughs> That one uh, this recreates that and that really uh, grabbed my attention uh, so taking this out of the package we, we don't need this get this out of the way and you got the clamshell pop that off uh, now as I said this is a deluxe piece so it is a little bit bigger than uh, other ones but it's mostly because of the base down here and looking at this it's actually really very nice. The paint detail on here is really very good. Now, with most Marvel Funko figures, they are a bobblehead, so you can you can do that. Um, but like I said, it's primarily the base that makes this a deluxe piece and thus more expensive. Uh, you come around here to the bottom, you can see, yeah, here's the uh, interlocking section. So like I said, these are all going to interlock and look pretty darn cool. Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming, I mean, that, that scene is pretty cool. So this is a nice piece to have to kind of recreate that. Taking a look at the base, really nice detail. You can see, like, in that scene, Iron Man kind of comes down using his thrusters to come down and land on the ground to assemble. And what you basically have here looks like a lot of smoke kind of blasting down to the uh, cement area here. You got some rubble and some nice sculpted in detail. Um, got that kind of going around here where it kind of looks like the, the cement and everything. That looks really cool. I love the paint fade here uh, with the thrusters. You can see that it starts off, I mean, you get a lot of paint detail in there where it's got a little bit of this orange color that comes up and then fades into the full-on orange. I mean, you got the little smoke right there. I mean, that looks gorgeous. Uh, you got these little uh, thruster bits here in the back. Is this the Mark 7? Um, why do I not know that instantly? Uh, I think it's the Mark 7. Uh, so having that having said that, uh, I, I feel like his shoulders are not as high as they should be because he's got those little rocket pod things there. So, um, I'm going to have to double check, but nice battle damage on there. You can see some scratches in terms of the paint detail, but you got this gorgeous hole blasted in there. You take a look at his helmet. You got this nice scratch here, with the, which does have some nice silver paint on the inside as well. Uh, overall, really nice detail in it. Like I said, I haven't been going for a lot of Funko figures lately because they just don't have the personality and dynamic feel like some other ones do. This, though definitely does and i will be collecting the rest of these now like i said because it's a deluxe pop it is a little bit more expensive i want to say that it's like 32 dollars. it is an amazon exclusive as well um so you have that uh exclusivity which probably is raising the price on it um i don't know if i would really say it's worth it uh the overall presence i think is what i'm going for <laughs> i almost want to get like a motorized turntable so that i can have it on my uh, coffee table and have it constantly turning that would probably look really cool don't know how well that's going to work out overall though i mean i do like it um but it is definitely something that i feel is overpriced uh, i will fully admit that i do think that it is a cool piece just 
I don't know if I would say that it's worth that 32 bucks. Uh, cool. Yeah, great paint detail. All that stuff. But definitely overpriced, I think. Um, so I don't know if I can really recommend it in general to uh, the casual fan. If you're a fan of the Avengers and Iron Man like myself, this was definitely a must-have. And then looking at you can connect it with the other Avengers to recreate that iconic scene um, is a big selling point for me. A enough that I'm swallowing my pride, plus I had an Amazon gift card, so I used it to get this. Um, it is what it is. It, it, you know... It is what it is. So, uh, really, that's about it. The paint detail is nice on there. The sculpt is really very well done. Uh, if you do want to pick it up, as I said, it is an Amazon exclusive. Uh, so, for that, I'm going to put a link right down in the video description where you can go there. Check it out. It's not a subscription thing, which is nice. Uh, it allows you to skip ones if you don't want to get them i mean for me like I, I really like iron man if i didn't want to get that whole thing i like the fact that i can just get this as opposed to a lot of what funko did when they made like a subscription where you don't really know what you're going to be getting in that subscription box the, the the different boxes that have done that always kind of annoyed me um even though i did get them for our time a, a lot of it was because they were ones that i really felt that i would like but there was definitely some duds in, in some of those previously and why I think ultimately the the model for that failed miserably uh, I know that like NECA is doing something with loot crate where you can actually get uh, figures with it I might check that out I don't know necessarily I'm just kind of randomly going off on a tangent right now and um, size comparison there's those let's see how big yeah but yeah, so uh, link down in the video description. You can check that out if you are so inclined. It also helps this channel out uh, in case you do anything. It is an affiliate link, so anything that you purchase through that does help my channel out a very small amount. If you want to help out more with my channel, doing simple things such as liking my videos, leaving comments. Obviously, this is not a Transformer video, so I don't expect a lot of people to watch it. I'm hoping that Iron Man fans will watch it. If you're not an Iron Man fan, guess what? Watching videos like this do help me to get other things like Transformer toys that you can watch and enjoy. So I appreciate it. Doing stuff like that really does help out. Or if you want to help out a little bit further, you can always become a patron of mine. All you have to do is go to patreon.com slash optimotomous. You can check out all the details there. I'll put a link for that right down in the video description as well. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.